What's going on, everybody? Uh, this is Ramal's here. So apparently there has been uh, an update to Windows 10 um, that has caused some conflict with the Logitech G27 racing wheel. So I want to go over um, how to fix this problem and what it was doing. First, let's talk about what it was doing. Now, I have already made my correction and fixed this, but I'll, I'll show you how to look and see if you have a problem. When you opened up the Logitech profile, which you'll see here, um, and I'm actually doing a run right now. You can't see it on screen because it's off screen. When you Originally, when you opened it up, your G27 wheel shows up in, this, in the Logitech profiler as a GT driving force couldn't figure out why reboot it reinstall uninstall uh, but thanks to the logitech forms i think i found a simple solution for it uh it seems to be working fine now as you can see here i'm showing up as the logitech g27 not the gt driving force so what i ended up doing for this fix is the very first thing i did is you go ahead and right click your logitech profiler and go ahead and click on exit to exit out of it completely okay now this is a Windows 10 fix All right, so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your control panel you can either search it or I just like to type it in here control panel go to your control panel right here under hardware go to view device and printers this is where it gets a little bit tricky here because um, you gotta know how to navigate in to make this switch the written instructions that you see on the Logitech website uh, kinda gets you there but don't really go into detail for Windows 10 users how to actually go in and update uh, the drivers on the Logitech G27. So uh, what we can do now is once you get in here, which you know, notice I did not unplug my G27. So once you get into the device uh, and printers, go down so you see your Logitech device right here. I'll bring it up big here. You see your Logitech, G, you see your G27 racing wheel right there in the screen. Go ahead and right click on it and go to properties okay now from properties you're gonna see manufacturing unavailable all this crazy stuff here go to hardware and then you want to click on your now mine is correct again so um, so mine is showing USB and a USB HID before it didn't so whatever you see click on your Logitech wheel and then click on properties again okay when that comes up it's gonna say this device is working properly you want to go down here to change settings this apparently is where the uh, update or something happened that caused um, Windows 10 to conflict with the G27 I don't know why uh, anyway go over here to the drivers tab and then click on uh, update driver okay when you click on update driver it's going to bring you to this you want to browse my computer for driver software all right click on that and then what you want to do is you want to go down to let me pick from a list of devices on my computer so just click on that and once you get there you're gonna see uh, model show compatible hardware logitech you know use the USB you want to click on this right here all right once you click on that you're gonna go ahead and click on next it's gonna install it's gonna tell you that Windows has successfully updated your driver software um, click close you get will is gonna go through no, it sync thing uh, close out and you are done click OK and now you're gonna see your G27 when you go to your game controller settings it's gonna show up as Logitech G27 racing wheel USB vice driving force GT and to confirm it just click on properties and you see your wheel is there your throttle your brake um, and everything else is, is showing up as it should so um, so again, and then to also to validate this, we go ahead and close out all this stuff. I'm going to open up my Logitech driving uh, Logitech profiler. So you just let that run, let it open up. And now, when you go into your profiler, instead of you seeing the profile for the Logitech Driving Force GT, you're going to see the profile for your Logitech G27 racing wheel. So hope this uh, video helps. That's how you go in and update um, your Logitech G27s. Apparently this is the result of a new Windows 10 update that was pushed uh, and it created some kind of conflict. Hopefully Logitech is going to solve this issue or Windows will solve this issue. Uh, but until then, 
Uh, that's the fix, and I uh, hope it helps you guys.